I'm curious, since you ended up running for like a local election, how important do you think like local elections are to uh, criminal justice reform or like uh, police reform? I think it's more important than anything else. It's definitely more important than the presidential election and then national stuff. I know some people might kind of think not, uh, but it is in the sense that most of the control over actual reform over these entities come down to your local level, to your mayors, to your city council people, to the actual like state attorneys and or DAs you elect, to the sheriffs that we, we vote into office, to the state representatives and state senators who help fund uh, these police departments and cities to who we elect on the state level. Members of Congress don't really have as much like control over that as we think. Sen uh, you know, U.S. senators and U.S. representatives, the president doesn't have direct control over that as much. They can kind of make things a lot worse with their mouth and with their Justice Department. Um, but it comes down to like, okay, an officer killed someone. Who do you want as the prosecutor? Someone who is controlled by police unions and doesn't ever prosecute an officer for doing this, or someone who will investigate and charge these officers for killing people? Who do you want as the sheriff? Someone who is a hawk? Um, how should we fund the sheriff's department? Should it be you know over a billion dollars like Broward County, nearly a billion dollars, or should we be putting more of that money in to housing and to opportunities and the social services. Who's the mayor and the city council, people who are gonna vote on this? The state representatives and state senators who pass the laws that give police officers immunity when they kill people. These are the most important positions. So while everyone's focused on the presidential election, which is important to focus on this year, we need to be focusing on these local elections as well. Uh, you know, we just had the primaries I ran in on August 18th. Barely anyone voted in a primary. Like the turnout was so low, it was, it was just really depressing. Youth turnout, youth, the youth voter turnout was 8%. Everything else was less than 20%. Like no one voted. And everyone was talking about November, November, get Trump out, but they forgot the most important elections were actually two and a half weeks ago, three weeks ago. Yeah. The most important elections. We're going to get a new prosecutor. Thankfully, it's not going to be the worst option in that race, but we're getting a new prosecutor. Mm -hmm. We got a new sheriff. We got a new, uh, 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 we got new people in just about every office now. We got new state reps and new, senator, and new state senators. Some of the choices were not good. Mm -hmm. But people got to remember that these local elections actually determine how we live our everyday lives. And they actually have more power over us. So our action should be to change that before we try to change what's happening nationally because that's the whole cookie. Like right? <laughs> We can't eat that whole cookie ourselves by ourselves. Yeah. I focused a lot on like down ballot elections, like sheriffs, state, state supervisor of elections, state attorneys, et cetera. Um, so I, I'd actually focus on the Broward County election and then the Orange County and Osceola, Orange and Osceola County elections. And it's actually, it's, it's very interesting, the differences. I think the biggest controversy, at least in Orange County, was about the death penalty. I'm not sure if the same controversy brought up in Broward County, because originally there was a prosecutor in Orange County where they were like, we're not going to probably use the death penalty. And then DeSantis ended up moving all of the cases that were like having to do with the death penalty to a different county. So what were the main issues in like the Broward County state attorney uh, race? I think the, some of the biggest ones were definitely like the war on drugs, like marijuana, Texas. Um, and I think most of the candidates actually were saying that they're not going to prosecute like low level like drug offenses or like marijuana possession which was good and then we had one um who actually was okay prosecuting people for that and was actually in the office prosecuting people for that so mm -hmm. that was one of the biggest distinctions but the other um was definitely uh having to do with uh police uh, involved shootings was a big thing um, or police misconduct in general was a big discussion um and it, so i think those two were definitely like the biggest but the other uh, outside of that it would definitely be like the school to prison pipeline like officers on school campuses and what should we do when those when students are arrested like what should our uh response to that be yeah that was the big contrast like gregory tony and scott israel like who has done more for the school to prison pipeline what's the best method to prevent like tragedies like douglas happening again 